what's up guys it's zed and this is episode two of the fifa 22 create a club career mode we are in with zilla fc in the last episode we were able to win the preseason trophy that didn't matter we drew our first game and then we won the cup and then we won against Cardiff city as you can see so this match we have five matches to play that is the the home game against coventry then bournemouth Cardiff city Millwall and I know I said I'll be doing a a month per episode but I want to play the Bournemouth game and the Fulham game so we're going to sim the this game against Coventry then the Carabao Cup which I'm really not focusing on at all and then the Brighton match I'm going to sim that then I'm going to play the Fulham match last I was able to make a second team and that is what we have right here we have Avchi, wherever his name is, on the left, then Edwards on the top, then Shagari on the right. That is the Nigerian guy as well. Then we have Abot, Faulkner and Strandberg are still taking their place, are still like holding their places in midfield. It's Devo that uh, gets taken off for Abot. And then Reed, Harrison, Odoireld, and Bakari are the back four, and then Torvaldson is still in the goal. Um, Basically, all the Wild and Bakari are the only ones in the first team that are still making an appearance in the second team. I'm not using this team for this upcoming match. I am using the first team. I'm just going to do a quick sim and let's see what happens in this match. We're able to get the win. That is Rivera, Devo, and Devo. Hey, he scored a brace, actually. I think he should be the top scorer in the team now. That's... That's quite amazing. I just did the development schedule for most of the players and they're going to be going at a rather impressive rate now. So I'm just going to go into the match against AFC Bournemouth. So I'll talk to you guys after this match. Um, before I go into the match, um, Avchi, again, I really don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Avchi is coming in for Suho because Suho is a, a bit tired. And then Harrison is coming in for all the wire world. Yeah. That's what it's called. So, anyways, I'm just going to go into the match and I'll talk to you guys after it's done. Hello and welcome to a city that many people regard as the gateway to the glorious Jurassic Coast, Bournemouth. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the championship. It's Bournemouth against the Blades. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the match begins. Billing. What an especially strong challenge. And a big chance at that. Oh, big chance. Must be. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Great pressure to win the ball back. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Now a decent position. And he takes it on, and getting across to stop it. He dominated the game in the last 15 minutes, and have looked great going forward. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Now the teams are taken away. Brooks. Emiliano Marcondes. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Must score! Give them the lead. They have their reward. 
Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And the volley is struck so cleanly, which shows just how good a clean challenge. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Oh, could be a chance. And a goal! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Zaid. Is this the moment? Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here it is again, and he's just passed that into the net. That's a very good finish, you have to say. Harrison. Zaid. Oh, showing excellent vision. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, almost there. The final whistle nearly upon us. Have they done enough to secure victory? Stuart, your take. Well, for much of this match, they've controlled the tempo of the game and deserved their lead. But... Oh, surely. Tremendous block. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Can he get one back? The crossbar got in the way. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Oh, what the hell was that much? Oh, my God, the defending in FIFA 22 is so hard. Like, it is so hard. Like you literally have to have maximum concentration and even with maximum concentration you still need like a whole lot of luck to win the match but anyway we have beaten our rivals three to one even though we're first in the table and they were like 19th or something but it was still a really really tough match really really tough match so if you did like the v all right, so this is the efl cup and i'm using my second team to play it or that sim it so let's see how they are going to are we going to be able to get through yes we do Faulkner Strandberg 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 scored two and all the goals were in the in the second half so that's really good we're able to get the win over Cardiff City this up is also the match against Millwall is the first team that is going at this one I think the next match is against Fulham I'm not quite sure but I'm going to check out the calendar after this so let's sim it and let's see what our first team is able to do we are we get a huge 4-1 win the captain scores twice then it's like all the midfielders are scoring because like what the hell what, what happened to the strikers okay so the next match is against Fulham so we're just going to sim all the way to this date and uh, the final match of the episode is in our stadium the Godzilla arena we're going with the first team everyone is is up to full health uh I see Zaid has gotten up to 80. Uh, Thorwaldson has also increased. I think Suho and Rivera have also gone from 78 to 70. From 77 to 78. And that's all I can actually remember right now for the ratings. So, yeah, let's see how we're able to do in this match. If you do like this video up to this point, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys after this match. The man of the moment. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's the Blades 
and they take on Fulham. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, I know the home side are very proud of this particular statistic. They can boast the best defensive record in the league, Stuart. Well, they press the ball at the right times and then drop off at the right times too, which is key to any good defensive structure. Their tactical understanding is absolutely brilliant, which is why they've conceded so few goals. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a... Must score! A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. a very tidy finish as you can see he's under so much pressure but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly it's an excellent goal committed challenge he might be able to profit from the wide position superb stop good movement Mitrovic, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. This could be the equaliser. Oh, but he's missed it. Devoe. Well, oh, they've given him too much space. Can he make a count? Real chance. Oh, a tremendous block. Has plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. And the cross smuggled away. And so it is, the first half story. Yes, it's an exciting move for him and hopefully we'll now see the best of him. But he'll need to settle in quickly to win over the fans. The move suits everybody, I think. And now, passing it through. A goal! A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Devoe. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? And a chance for him to notch in front. And still an opportunity. Now a decent position. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, this deserves another look. Just see the bend he gets on the ball. That's a great bit of skill and an excellent goal. And he takes it away. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. It might be on for them. But strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. Can he put it away? It could be up for grabs. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. But they dealt with the threat first. We are going to have two additional minutes. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Astonishing drama. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish.
And there it is, so, the final whistle. We just barely won that match. I absolutely hate it. How bad and how hard the defending is. Like, what exactly did they do to it? Because it's so hard to defend in this game. Like, it's so hard. Defenders that you're not using, yeah? They're, like, really, really hard. Like, they just stand there and they don't do anything. I don't even know what to say. I'm, not, I'm just really, really furious, even though I won the match. I mean, that's really a good thing. But, like, I'm, I'm ending the episode here as scheduled. So, thank you guys for watching. <sighs> if you did like the video, make sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.